So with oncology, it's kind of unique because it, it's a unique therapeutic area um, where oncologists, there's a sense of evaluating products and utilizing them when there's not as much robust clinical data sometimes. So the perception, I mean, there's a wide range of it. And so to see how they're going to react with these biosimilars, especially with the three big uh, oncology agents expected to launch fairly soon, it's to be determined how they react to it. Yeah, so I think this goes back to the, the core need of education with biosimilars and being proactive with that. So what we've seen to date for those uh, health systems or providers that have been successful with biosimilars, there's certain characteristics that makes them uh, able to uptake these products faster and be successful. And part of that is early education and communication. So we've seen health systems do a full rollout of communication and education from nursing, physicians, pharmacy, and patients and having that information out in advance has helped a lot when those products become available so they're not backpedaling at that time.